Ladies and gentlemen, our first athlete is from Australia, a 37-year-old, six foot one, 90 kilogram athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ryan Blue Bowen. He is 32 years old, five foot five and 90 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Ray! Take the grip, bow, shoulder, 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 France, France, straight your shoulder. Okay, let's rotate. Wrist, wrist. Come on, mm -hmm. we are close. Wrist, straight your wrist. Wrist, wrist here, wrist. One warning, straight your wrist. Wrist. Brian Bone with one warning. Ready, go! Huge surge to poke play, flash pin inside. Ryan did not look like he was able to engage at all there. Coach Ray showing Ryan, listen, you're not where you think you are. But will Ryan be able to come back and adjust and, and uh, make round two look much differently? Ryan Bowen, the older athlete at 37, Coach Ray at 32. Uh, Ryan is also traditionally the bigger athlete. Again, uh, he is traditionally competing around the 100 kilos. Coach Ray has been competing around 85 kilos. So this is a cut down Ryan versus a bulked up Ray. Pretty big height difference as well. Coach Ray 169 centimeters, Ryan Bowen 186. Will Ryan be able to use this height to his advantage or will Coach be able to bring it inside again? If I'm Ryan, um, I'm going to look to take a ref's grip here. I'm definitely not going to go the same angle. I'm going to pronate hard outside. If I'm Coach Ray, I'm doing the same thing that I did in the last cover round. His okay, don't cover his knuckles. A little bit down. Too much. It's too much. A little bit down. Look at, look at his knuckles. His knuckles is here. Here. Yeah. Close. Under. Neither athlete happy. Yeah, it's okay. Both looking for height. Straight Ryan wrist. especially. Straight wrist. Ray, shoulder. Don't, don't climb, don't climb. Don't climb, don't climb. Wrist. A lot wrist. of movement here in the, in the setup. Cool the I start. wouldn't be surprised if we see a ref's grip. Take a grip. Let's say your shoulder. Grip. Wrist. OK, stop. Referee's grip. Okay. You cover your knuckle? Okay. Just don't go so high, you know. 
referee's grip as expected here. One level, pound to pound, pound to pound. Shoulder, don't move, shoulder, don't move. Straight wrist. I close the ray first. Down, a little bit down. Ready, go! Ah! Strap much. Ryan made the adjustment there going outside. Very smart move by Ryan. Let's see if the straps change anything here. First we put the strap and after that we go again in the reference. It's not this. It's okay. Uh, Ryan has what most will deem as the good side of the strap here. Coach Ray has the buckle. For you. We are using the fair strap setup in move, all matches move. today, so of course that's going to be through the loop. Wrist. Mm -hmm. One level. One level. It's okay? Okay. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Referee's grip, yeah. The same same way, yeah? Okay, look at center is here because you push your elbow at this position, okay? Ryan trying to keep here. that wrist. Yeah. As flexed as don't possible. Pull, don't pull. A little bit down. Okay. Don't move your shoulder. Don't move your shoulder. It should be a referee's now grip. No movement here. Run first. Don't climb. Don't climb. Ready. Go. <sighs> Much better. Ryan loading into Coach Ray's hand here. Ray trying to hook him down to the pad. Coach Ray feeling very comfortable. Ryan looking uncomfortable. Stop, stop. <laughs> Big serve from Coach Ray here. The score is now 2-0. Coach Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slippery, slippery shit. Yeah, I was slipping, losing my fucking connection. Yeah, my fucking top one. He was good in straps. Good. Yeah, one round. What? Yeah. Ryan really yeah, needs please. to find a lane here. Um, <sighs> Coach Ray has proven that he is much stronger on the inside. Ryan desperately, desperately needs to find a way to get around Coach Ray's hand. If he doesn't, I expect to see something very similar here in round three. Coach Ray there again yeah, in round two, looking very comfortable, looking at, at the clock. Ah! I'm way too strong for this guy. And there was a surge there for the for the pen. Hey, it is hey, two zero. Let's go. Coach Ray wins. Take the a look. Shoulders, say to shoulders. Not in a ref's grip. Yep. Shoulder. I expect Shoulder. Ryan to fight a little Push bit more center. into center Coach Ray's way. hand. Try to get Shoulder. away with a little bit more than an even start. This way. Don't Let's see if he's able to be successful there. Stay the wrist. Wrist here, wrist. Ready, go! Much, much start. higher yeah, start, start by Ryan. It did not matter. Ryan had to slip underneath there. The strap will now be applied. I am still top roll king. Back. Okay. Put, put our arms together at least. Seems way too much. Yeah. Hold it. Hold the arms. Last round, don't, don't, don't Ryan don't had the good side sure. of the strap uh, you need it? being okay, okay, not go, the buckle go, go this take time. Take Ryan it. has ah, the buckle, okay. so Ryan has a little bit more of a disadvantage here on the buckle side. Coach Ray does have the good side. I would expect Coach Ray to be able to set it inside again, but again, let's find out if Ryan has found a lane or if he yes. believes he has found a lane or if he tests a new lane uh, be because if he does not, if he is unable to find a new lane, if he does not test a new lane. I expect goal. again Coach Ray to be very dominant. Let's do it fair, pound to pound. It's okay? Yeah. It's the same, same 
Lai vēl, jā. Kā ir jūs nomērdi āķi un tad iegriež augstā? Nē, man bailes, man bailes, man nav celts augstā. They are holding the athlete's hands here, making sure the webbing is even. It is not a referee's grip. Once the strap is tightened, uh, with the equal webbing, both athletes can fight for their own grip um, for 60 seconds. At the end of 60 seconds, if they have not agreed to a grip, it will be a referee's grip. I would not be surprised if it goes into a referee's grip. State your shoulders, guys. Shoulder. Shoulder, right? Shoulder. Brian's setup does look much better, but again, he has the buckle side. He is at a slight disadvantage. Shoulder. Wrist. Ready, go! Appa! Appa! Coach Ray with complete hand control here. Something most of us did not expect to see. Be careful. Stop. Complete domination. And Coach Ray, congratulations. 3-0, Coach Ray over Ryan Bowen. <laughs> Looks like the shutout stakes were backwards on that one. Again here in round three, Coach Ray was able to Coach Ray was able to completely dominate Ryan's hand, Ryan's wrist, come outside, top roll him. We've had a lot of beef on the internet talking about how, you know, Ryan says Coach Ray has no top roll, he has no chance. Uh, Coach Ray proved today not only is he better inside, but he does have that outside move that is, is clearly a big threat to Ryan Bone. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your winner, Coach Ray. Raymond, I I, I got to tell you, we had a we had an interview last night with everybody, and you guys had some chatter back and forth, and he just thought you weren't the level of competition for him. Tell me what's on your mind after this match and how it ended up. Uh. It ended just like I said it's going to end. I trained my ass off. I spent my summer preparing for this match. He didn't show up. I showed up. All is buried. Thank you, Ryan, for the opportunity. Thank you, Engen, for putting me here. Stay strong and love Armistling. I'll see you next time. Coach Ray, ladies and gentlemen.